crazy pixel. Another week. Did you do anything this week? Did anything happen to you to Mark this week? To Mark, um, Mark worked a lot at his day job that we don't really like to talk about here because mm. it's not who I want to be, you know? No, but, I, um, I totally understand. When I was 20 years old, I worked at McDonald's. And it's not something... <laughs> I remember when I worked there, I used to lie I to people. McDonald's. I used to just lie and say that I, I had a job, but I wouldn't tell them where it was and I'd always dance around it. Um, so, I mean, eventually I would tell people and I would kind of own it, but there is this like, man, I'm working at mean, no knocking McDonald's. I mean, I worked there for a year, so. You got delicious chicken nuggets, honestly. I got, I got fired actually. Oh my God. Would you steal chicken nuggets? No, I see. I was a vegetarian then. I was, oh, I've been a vegetarian since I was 13. So. Oh, really? It was just, I, I lost a job somewhere or something happened um, and I needed a job quick. So I was just applying everywhere, you know, and that was the one that, that called me back and I was like, you know what? I need a job. I'm going to go. Um, and so I, 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 I get it. I'm working. I used to eat there. I used to eat there, but it was I would make like quesadillas because they had the 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 tortillas and the cheese, and I used to just make quesadillas because you get like one free meal a day or something like that. Um, <laughs> the way I got fired, the way I got fired was it was a very Azario way. And if you know me, listeners, this is a nice Azario story for you. Um, I'm very quiet IRL, like in front of people I don't don't really know. I'm. Not not quite in the sense where like, like I'm I'm playful, I'm goofy, you know. Like you won't expect me to just like blow up and 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 be problematic. I'm not problematic. I'm not aggressive. He's the know? nicest guy around. I'm very I'm very, I I'm a charmer. Oh, okay. <laughs> charmer. Yes, yes, totally telling the truth. Totally telling the truth. So a long story short. One day I was at work and we had this um, this dry erase board and I decided to draw a guy, a stick figure guy, just sitting under a tree. Okay? Oh. And, and, and then a, next to him, there was this guy surfing. I drew this guy surfing. So the manager sees, sees my drawing. I'm drawing the guy surfing now. I already drew the guy at the tree, under the tree. And she's like, come to the office right now. And I go to the office and she's like, I'm suspending you. And I was like, what? What did I do? <laughs> this is 20-year-old Desario too. The 20-year-old Desario had like, uh, like, like seen hair. 20-year-old Desario was at best uh, fucking McDonald's? Uh, yeah, I was emo, emo boy, uh, MySpace. Um, MySpace kid. boy? Yeah, so, um, so she, she's like, I knew what you were doing. And I was like, what did I do? She's like, you drew a penis on the dry erase board. <laughs> and I said, what? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I saw what you did. I saw what you were drawing and you're being suspended. And I was like, and I looked at her and I got really quiet. And I was like, you think I'm a fucking pervert? And she's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, that's something a pervert would do. Are you calling me a pervert? <laughs> and she's like, uh, uh. And, she, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking walk out of their little office and she follows me because she doesn't know if I'm I'm in the fucking store, right? She doesn't know if I'm gonna blow up and like punch a punch a customer. And so I'm in the back and I say, Hey Steven. He's like, What? Steven. And I say, What was I drawing on that dry erase board? He's like, a guy sitting under a tree. And I looked at her again and I said, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked out. Yo, <laughs> I can paint the picture. <laughs> Yo, I'm dying here. <laughs> and that's, that's that was my that's that's the way I got fired from McDonald's. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I never got fired. <laughs> <laughs> 
nor did I ever drop penises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I've drawn my fair share of penises. <laughs> but, no, I'm not a penis I, drawer. Yeah, I did. I wasn't drawing a penis then. Like, if I was if I was getting fired for actually drawing a penis, then okay, you got me. Um, I feel like I have to yawn to let all this laughter off my chest here. Yeah, it's like it's, only- well, it's 11 p.m. for you, so you're allowed. You're allowed to yawn. You worked Look a full day. Like I like, said before in a previous episode, if I worked for eight hours and you asked me to do this, I would kindly say, piss off. <laughs> why? You can't do multiple things in one day. Yeah, so you're good. But um, it's all right. We got this. I mean, Best Buy is a good place to work. There are a lot it of ain't bad. Know, either GameStop or Best Buy. Best Buy is good. I mean, I get treated nice now. A lot better than I did years ago because I actually went back to Best Buy. I worked at Best Buy. I'm like, I left thinking I was cool and trying to go into my career. But no one likes careers. No, right? likes we don't careers. we don't do careers at Noisy Picks because we're the punk rock. We're the punk the rock. <laughs> but no, we, um, we, we launch <laughs> podcasts on a gaming website that has nothing to do with the video games. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I did that for uh two years and I hated that job as well. And then I took a year off um, and this was already during no- noisy pixel. I was already doing this, but I also had other things going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that year off that people do after high school now. So I took all my savings and I dumped it into time, t- converted it into time while paying school loans to work on noisy pixel amongst other things. And it worked out. So I needed to work a part-time job now I to think, afford the uh... time. I think with that time that you took off, we needed that. I mean, Noisy Pixel needed that to launch. Successfully. I think it was important. We didn't have a back. logo. We didn't have um, animations. We had this idea that, I don't know. I mean, I didn't know what it was going to be. You know, it's it's weird. It's definitely weird seeing. I go to message boards and stuff, and I, I read like Visual Novel Reddit, and I read um, Gamer Reddit. Um, but it's so humbling to see people <sighs> say, like, where do we go for this news? And they're like, oh, well, Noisy Pixel's good. And, like, I never <laughs> imagined, like, two years ago that people would, like, want know to us. to us for, for anything, you know? And I, and so I really, I really appreciate uh, that kind of stuff. And then I see, like, I see all these other companies where, like, I mean, I I believe it's when money, when money is involved. When you start, when you, if you wanted to make this your full time job, I say maybe, maybe start somewhere else because this, this for 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 us right now is is all built on passion. Um, if you're trying to jump into this and like be like, oh, this is full time right away, you know, like. That's where the that's where the issues come in because you have sites like my old site that I used to work at Dual Shockers. They had a mass quit. Just maybe 15, 20, 15 people just left. Really? Um, yeah, they got bought out um, by another company, and then that company pretty much their direction was an SEO farm, which is just basically like let's go to Semrush and let's see the top ten keywords Fortnite. Um, yeah. Whatever you know, fuck this. You know, <laughs> uh, Minecraft. I don't know. And then let's just do videos on that. You see, Kotaku kind of doing it, but Kotaku does have features. But that's the problem is that they didn't want to supplement that content, that style of content. Like, um, oh, this this person got twelve drop shots and. Yeah, they're trying seconds. to get you know the hypest thing that's out right now. You know, yeah, just yeah. hype it up. Uh, and then, um, so it's very little effort on their part. And then um, just get that SEO rank, you know, like get all those search results. And so they get the top, but but that leaves little room for features. Um, I mean, for me, it's like if 20 people saw my writing, saw, saw something that I wrote, I'd be pretty stoked on it. Um, but it's it's definitely different for for when you're trying to make money off of it. It's you can't just it, jump into the idea of money right away. Money yeah, has to be like so far away from what you're yeah, trying to do. It's definitely an investment. Mark and I, 
everyone on staff has separate jobs. Um, I feel like I have 10 jobs. Yeah, I at least have four jobs. <laughs> but definitely it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a dream that you really need to be at a good point in your life to kind of um, work on. And I feel like when we launched it, you and I and uh, Jordan Boyd, and uh, we're all just at a good, uh, good mental state to launch something. And I think it all played out rather well. And it all started off from me asking Brian to talk about games on a podcast. And they were like, well, let's just make a website. That's yeah, let's just make a website. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to write. Just website. You know how to play video games. Um, of course. Hey. Yeah. Um, what else? What else is there to talk about? Well, I have one thing I want to talk about, but then I realized I don't think I should talk about it. So we're going to stir away from that idea. Is it not Dogecoin? No, it's not Dogecoin, but you brought it up. Um, that was about my job. Oh. But I don't know. Let that slide. Okay. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just dive right into comments. Let's get involved. Let's, okay, do, okay. let's do a deep dive here and see if we can get some good. We have some comments we've been getting. Um, news: The news is still not hitting the 500 view mark. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, we're, we're returning this? <laughs> yes. Um, when it comes to news, I, I'm okay. Um, news is, is... We'll never stop doing news. I just need to get better at it. I need, I need to start talking about better stuff i guess i don't know i get well the thing is you can't you can't get a view without a click so it's all about like i guess the the, the title the time it comes out mm-hmm. the the thumbnail mm-hmm. but we've had the same thumbnail style and we've had better success in the past so what is changing is it the times are people it's, less it's interested anytime in talk about persona 5 it does really well so just persona 5 yeah if i Google just shockers yeah, if I just made a persona news thing where I just talk about Atlas in every episode, I'm sure people would would love that. Um, you know what There's... I liked though is that a lot of people on our last episode where we say that we post a lot of content, a lot of um commenters like uh Leaf and Otaku Samurai, they were saying that we uh they love all our content. They love that we post a lot. And some some of some people say, like Leaf uh, said, that he, he has a hard time watching them all, but he loves seeing it all. Um, and I, I appreciate that because we we do try and um, and really do as much put out as much content as we can to kind of differentiate us from from other websites. Um, because we're in such a good position right now with life and with like. I think life is moving forward. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It sucks because there there's times where you wake up and you don't feel like doing anything, you know? And After doing it for that long, like, I feel like eventually there's going to, you know, you're going to hit a point where you want something to, you know, I don't know. You change every day. Yeah. Know? Yeah. They, 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 they circles back to, like, the burnout. But... I mean, it's been two years and I, I don't feel it. I just feel so motivated when I when I see something new to change it. I didn't go to bed um, this week, earlier this week. I um, So I, I am computer science major. But so my, my passion was in coding, but I've landed into writing about video games. Funny. Um, so when I see new coding ideas and stuff, where where other websites kind of are limited is they'll they'll have to hire somebody to do it, which is thousands of dollars. But I kind of just take it, and um, we um, we I I spent six hours on Monday fixing our Google ranking and stuff and our SEO stuff. Um, it's called a schema, but man, we are in in a. In terms of like where we are, where our website is at least, um, in terms of where our website is, uh, 
compared to others, you know, like we're we're buttoned up as if we were like this really dope website. And I'm I and that's Feels just good. like an accumulation of all our skills. Like like Bailey's really good at at finding news off of Twitter. Jacob's really good at getting visual novel stuff. You're really good at uh, learning about new ways to edit and create uh, animations. I'm really good at um, picking features and putting stuff together quickly. You know, and we all kind of just come together and bring our skills together. And I think that's where like Noisy Pixel benefits. What is also cool is over the years we've had these pieces and they've kind of gone off and done their own thing. Like Jordan now works. Um, can I say this? He works for Square Enix pretty much. He's like does PR for Square Enix. Uh, uh, Brad uh, does PR for Perfect World Entertainment. And uh, they all come from Noisy Pixel. And it's like, it's like, yeah, they come, but we but we fill their places with other people who who do like who take what they did with the the gap that they the hole that they build in Noisy Pixel and we fill it with someone else and we, we're just constantly finding great people. And in the future, in the coming weeks, we're going to be um, looking for new people to kind of hire on. And I guess that kind of leads to that. So you'll be seeing stuff on our Twitter where we'll be asking for people. Um, I have some vacation time, so I'm going to use it <laughs> to train people. Training. There's no games. There's no games coming out in the next two weeks either. So like, I'm like, hanging out <laughs> i'm finding i'm trying i'm like looking for stuff to do i started re-watching attack on titan season three mark oh, that's all you got that much spare time i see that's okay. how much spare time i've had it's nice it's nice i was still crying watching it say what you want about attack on titan it's fucking good i only watched the first season and it was good but um, i also yeah. have this brand new comment on a very old news video, but I just appreciate this. But he said, but wait, wait, this says he was a, he was subscribed for two months. What are you doing, Brian? He says, anyone else find this channel that basically feels like it was made for you and now is on a deep dive. I feel it's, that sounds like he's like fresh to the channel, but it's yeah. he's two, he's two months in right now and he's going back all the way to last year, August. But I mean, that's the thing about the news videos is that we do put them out on Saturday. It's kind of a strange, like People don't normally post on Saturdays. Um, we do that to cut you off because a lot of the main noisy pixel source content is Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. like a week. And then you're kind of just left with this empty gap on the weekend where we're like, mm -hmm. well, we don't want to overwhelm the Monday to Friday when you're kind of like trying to get all that info in. So mm -hmm. we're like, what can we do creatively on the weekend to fill those voids as like a personality or people aside from just hearing about games? Necessarily, well, not, not that you can't hear about games on the weekend, but not the games during the week. That's the secret. Oh, <laughs> but thank you. The, yeah, if you start watching a news, there was like this character that I wanted to create early on in the news where I was like, where I would slowly uh, start getting more and more um, depressed as if my, like, I wanted to visually like, be so uh, um, nihilistic as a character, like this nihilist, like, like version of yeah. myself, <laughs> like, just like so whatever. And uh, I mean, it works, but you got to change it up. Yeah, I, I definitely tried. As like, oh, just another day. What can you expect? Like, not really like, excited. <laughs> you can see that in like the early unboxings and like kind of stuff that I was trying to do. But I, I settled on, uh, I settled on just being myself. And I think people appreciate me being myself. Where they'll say like, "This guy sounds like he like actually is like talking to me like a friend." And I, and I definitely am. I'm not talking. I have no like real character or filters, so <laughs> I might say some shit that um, will get me in trouble. <laughs> I like your uh, camera angle other than the is that a fire detector smoke detector is that a carbon oh, yeah, monoxide a, up there that's a fire detector <laughs> well, there you go I think I, I like that got some yeah. nice depth going you know you got some door action yeah that's <laughs> depth. <laughs> all right doors. we're wrapping this up when Mark starts talking about fire alarms it's <laughs> come to the end of the show <laughs> no nah, I was just concerned about your camera angle you know um Thank you so much for watching. Mark, closing statements. Um, just tilt the camera like 
a little bit down. But then maybe you have to lower your seat. Now, not down. That's not down. Yeah. No, I, let's get rid of the fire detector, you know? Get that little bullet out of the at the top. But now you're going to have to become shorter. <laughs> you got a crank? Yeah. Do your seat. Yeah, bring the seat. There you go. He's learning. <laughs> Just have- Still there. <laughs> a little, a little, a little. <laughs> yeah wow what is happening dude we are on a rig yeah that's, that's uh, cool actually that's, that's funny how everything's happened desk that's cool yeah see look no distraction above your no head no distraction okay <laughs> goodbye everyone peace out